So we're back again in Cabela's Alaskan kind of Adventures for some more Throwback Thursday hunting, and I really hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, because I'm having a blast with this game. I'm really looking forward to like Wednesday night or Thursday when I record this every single week, but we're just on our way back here with our brand new 375 board action rifle. I just went to the target range and sighted it in 400 yards because a lot of you guys were recommending it in the comments of the last video, but we actually need it for this first hunt anyway. And this hunt is to hunt a Trophy Legend Bison, and we have to use the 375 bolt action rifle, or the replica rifle, whatever that is. I didn't actually see that in the store, but I did buy the tags for this. I just wanted to come in and actually read the hunt description. I think this is going to be very interesting, because last time, we were trying to get a Trophy Legend Bison anyway, and basically the issue we had was they were all charging us, and we had to basically claim the first two that we shot. I assume any that charge us this time that aren't the Trophy Legend, we just won't be able to claim. So I think it won't be an issue to shoot Charging Bison, but I'm interested to see what's going to happen, to say the least. And of course it's telling us there we need to analyze tracks to figure out which one is the Trophy Legend, and I mean, that's the only real way to do it. But I just expect, like, as we're going around trying to find tracks, that we're going to get charged by some of them anyway. And I guess we'll kind of find out as we're doing that what's what, but like I said, it should be interesting. They were very aggressive last time, and I don't expect that to be different. Okay, so... This is really interesting. We have the Trophy Legend Bison Track as the first one we picked up. He legitimately just killed a red fox. Um, I'll try to edit that in so you can at least hear it and like see him chasing it. I kind of wondered, but yeah, that red X on the screen and the little orange dot behind it is, I believe, the Trophy Legend Bison now standing over a dead red fox, which is interesting, but I kind of knew there was some animal interaction in this game. Now, we're zeroed for 100 yards. And we are way less than 100 yards away from this bison, but I'd love to actually get him, like, basically with him not charging us. I do see him, I think. Or do I? Nah, that's not actually him. Oh, he's right there, actually. Like, right there. Let's see if we can get this. Exactly. Directly on target. We were so close that there was no bullet cam, but I do believe that is our trophy legend bison. There's the dead fox that he killed. And, I mean, that does look huge, so... It is 40 score. If I remember last time, we were getting, like, 32 and 34 scoring ones. But next shot at 22 yards. Whether it's because he had just killed that fox, and, like, there was some kind of animation thing where he wasn't going to charge us, or if we actually managed to sneak in that close without him seeing us. Either way, that is actually pretty cool. That's but a high score. kind of went a little quicker and better than I thought. I didn't think really that the one bison off by itself was going to be the trophy legend, but I thought I'd start with that. We just unlocked a 500 magnum revolver, which might be kind of fun to hunt with at some point. But the structure of these videos, hopefully going forward, is going to be kind of like this. So we're going to do like one of the hunts that we have to go buy tags for. Then we're going to go do either like the bird hunting or the fishing and then another hunt and then like another one of these objectives basically going back and forth. So it's kind of interesting and, you know, that we're not doing a bunch of the same thing back and forth, but we are going to go ahead and do the waterfowl shooting, which last time I edited a bunch out of because it does get repetitive, and we'll probably do the same thing here. This one's a countdown timer, though, so maybe we have to be a little bit faster. Either way, 4,000 points is still the goal. I'm not entirely sure. Good. You don't want to track I mean, animals. we can't take more than two shots again. I guess it's just, like, gonna have that little countdown so where we can't take our time with the shots but I really found out last time that taking your time seems to get you a lower score because the flocks are more like together right at the beginning so you can get more don't want to track wounded animals you can get more birds like right at the beginning when you take those shots so and there's probably gonna be quite a lot of editing with this but oh that was back behind definitely should have got a bunch there made a high score well done you know i feel like last time i was missing a lot by the end of this where they started going Thanks. faster very nice and honestly the biggest reason i feel like i'm doing better this time is from editing that last video because i saw how many times i was shooting like and not leading them enough and i feel like it's making a huge difference here That's like we're over 4,000. i think a lot more quickly That's than we exactly were last time way to do it. and there's probably a lot more to go but that's pretty much all we're gonna have to do. We have this gold medal, no problem. We might as well keep seeing what we can do. But I believe we're higher score now than we were total last time. And it's just because we're giving them a bigger lead. 
I kind of think we're getting close to the end because of how fast they're going, but 5,200 already. I'm really happy with this score. So 70 kills this time. I know that's better than last time, and 5,578 total score. Not too bad, but that is going to be the end of the duck shooting for this one, so we're going to go back and get another one of the main hunts, and I actually have no idea what this is. I haven't read through to see what else there is, but we are hunting doll sheep. That's going to be kind of cool, and Realistically, it doesn't matter what gun we use. Probably the 375 would be way overpowered, but I kind of like it, so we're just going to go with it. I always love these loading screens. Like, the, the art they have in them is so cool, but I'm not really sure what to expect on this particular map. Like, I know doll sheep, obviously, but as for what else is going to be here, I'm not sure. We've seen bison, we've seen fox, lynx, coyotes. Uh, there were two different species of bear on the one map. I'm not really sure what else we can be dealing with, but we'll kind of see maybe if we even have to find out. So that is not a doll sheep, but I don't think it's particularly pleased with us being here. It's a really tiny black bear. Sir, not acceptable. It's illegal for you to hunt that animal. It's literally attacking me. What do you want me to do? Was I not allowed to take that first shot for some reason? Warning number one. Please make it your last. I wonder if he's going to warn us again for the second shot. Like, I'm not sure... What else I could possibly done there? I guess that was just some kind of weird timing. Is this the whole thing with the ATV accident? Because... Oh, God. What is happening over here? Alright, that's a not-so-nice sounding Wolverine. I'm a little more worried about whatever was just making all that sound over here. I'm assuming another black bear? I actually want it to come after us because I don't want to have to deal with it coming after us when I'm not looking. So... It's just a female, apparently. I mean, there's... Holy... Alright, well, got a little bit too close. That was a perfect shot. I wouldn't let him get nice and close so he didn't get warned again. And he killed the Wolverine for us, so that was rather nice of him, but... I mean, that apparently had little to do with the ATV accident. Is that after us as well? I think it might be, but I'm worried about getting, like, warned for hunting things that actually aren't. I want to go back and see what the deal with that ATV was, because there was a thing that came up, like, right at the beginning of the hunt there that said something about, like, there's an ATV accident, the animal may be wounded and dangerous or something. And this is not the starting ATV, so... I mean, it has to be. Find and follow the doll sheep's tracks. And there's blood there. If it was wounded, I would think it would have, like, a yellow marker on the map. Not really sure how I'm supposed to track it. I see that one bit of blood. It's a male. But then, like, beyond that, I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Man, I can't get away from anything for long enough to have a shot. chance at any kind of doll sheep. I'm trying to get them, like, in the distance. Now that's gonna be a random yellow marker that's not the wounded doll sheep. So that's got to be a male anyway. He's got a little bit of a curl there, but we're going to have to aim kind of low. That was a perfect shot. It's unfortunate that we spent so much time, like, trying to uh, get our rifle sighted in for, like, further. And now, no matter what we do, we're taking close shots. So I'm not sure what is the deal with that. But at least we got a dull sheep. I don't imagine that's the wounded one. And we hit it literally in the leg. So we didn't have to aim that low. But Excellent I guess job. a high score has been achieved. Overpowered rifle kind of helps with that kind of thing. That was a much bigger one. Holy! I want to get that one. And go figure. It is a female, which would certainly not be realistic. And it is the trophy legend. Now this wounded black bear is over here still because we kind of didn't make the best shot when it was coming after us. Is that it again? I bet it is. Oh, don't get my sheep. That wouldn't be good. Not that good of a shot. I don't know if now that we hit it, now there's something behind us. Is that going to be enough for us to keep it? it? Would be if we can hit it. This is the most bizarre hunt we've done. I can hear something behind us, and I don't like it. It's not going to fall. What is Bring the deal? With another shot. Wolverine back there. We've literally hit a doll sheep in the leg and killed it. This one we've actually hit at least a little more like center body twice, and it's surviving. I mean, 
That's too many shots for one target. That was a little bit weird, but I think it was going to attempt to run us over. So is this actually the trophy legend? It is, so we ended up finding the right one. And, I mean, six yard headshot by the end of that. But, uh, I'm not really sure, as far as like the whole ATV thing, what else we were supposed to do. I didn't see any tracks, but not bad. Two ones, two trophy legends. But we'll do something a little more relaxing for the next part, because that was kind of getting ridiculous with bears and wolverines chasing us everywhere and trying to run down a trophy legend doll sheep. We actually have more than the maximum possible amount of bullets. We're at 130 right now. I think you can only buy up to 120. But we need to catch two Dolly Vardens. I don't even know what that is. And two Lake Trout. That should actually be kind of interesting. Lake Trout especially. So let's kind of see how this goes. That kind of looks like a Lake Trout coming to visit this. So I'm running with a crankbait right now, which of course I should actually be having to reel in, but kind of just the way this seems to work. And dealing with the numpad again, I really am not a fan of that, but that's just kind of how this is going to be. I forgot we get to actually deal with, like, having the rod in a certain direction to help our case here. But that is running a lot more than anything else we've fished for so far, so this might be a little more difficult. Yeah, I mean, the way they're switching around, definitely more difficult than what we've dealt with. It just feels, like, slower to cover distance as well and reel them in, but... I expect this to be Dinner tonight. a pretty good sized fish. Yeah, 23 pound lake trout. That's a good bit bigger than anything we've caught so far. That's a high score. And assuming that the other fish in this area are also lake trout, hopefully we can just hook another one with the crankbait and get on to whatever those other fish were that I've never heard of. Looks like we got some interest from another lake trout, so we may need to be switching lures for the other fish, but at least for this one, hopefully we can get him hooked. And as long as he doesn't fight us too hard, I think we're going to be just fine. I still do like like the spinning uh, tackle a lot better than ice fishing, but the way they do that, I feel like I need to be more careful about where I keep the tension because they can really flip that around quick. Okay, so I just found out the direction that you actually hold the rod in matters. Like, if I have it over here... The tension starts going the wrong way, so that's cool that it matters. I actually wasn't sure from last time what I was seeing, like, if it did make a difference. And it's bringing it in a lot more quickly, so I sort of didn't realize that. I was kind of just going with the direction that seemed to keep the tension on the rod. You got it. You got it. But that actually makes a difference. That's really cool. That's a bigger one by one pound, so getting a high score in there. Excellent job. A high score has been achieved. Now, I am just guessing that we're gonna have to move to another place and probably try a different lure. So we'll go to the next little area where there's more fish. Is that finally what we're after? That does not look quite like the lake trout. Hopefully we can actually get this hooked and find out. I mean, I think it's different. I guess we'll find out when we get it in here. I gotta say the fishing is really becoming one of my favorite things in this entire game. Just because there actually is like a lot that goes into it when you start to really play around with it, but is this actually whatever that other kind of fish was? Size. Nice job. I think so. Yeah, it is. So it's just a little six pounder, but turns out the spinner bait is what we need. You've made a high score. Well done. So maybe this other one out here is gonna be another Dolly Varden, and we can just be done. But it seems like they're actually not so common. So. Not really sure. It doesn't actually look like it. I can kind of see it below the water. So maybe we need to try somewhere else. I think that's what we need, so we're going to have to make sure we don't lose this one because I really don't see a lot of them. Let's see if we can get this right. Should be good. And as long as we kind of just play this right, I think we'll be all set. We'll just kind of get this guy in here, and that's definitely another Dully Barton, so... Excellent. Dinner we tonight. should be done. And another six pounder. I'm not sure if that's bigger or smaller than the last one. But you've made a high score. Well done. Apparently it is at least a little bit bigger because he was a higher score. And that is gonna be the fishing for this region. So we have the fishing and the contest done. And I think we just have one more hunt. So we'll kind of see what our last uh, like side hunt is for this particular region going to be a male gray wolf and a male coyote using a scope rifle each must be a trophy legend that is getting very serious and i certainly imagine we're going to be shooting a lot of 
non-trophy legend, but very angry uh, members of both of those species. So this one doesn't look quite like the bison one, where I was able to pretty much just kind of look on the map and see one bison that was off by itself. Man, there's bison here too, so we're going to have plenty to pay attention to. But the good thing is, they do actually kind of interact with each other. And maybe that's going to keep them distracted to where we're not non-stop, like, dealing with aggressive animals. That front one actually does look bigger. I have no idea if that means anything. This is... This is going to be difficult to try to know what's attacking us and what's not. Okay. Well, I guess that's going to be a part of this. Didn't even hit that. Um, that one. I'm not sure if I... That doesn't look really good. That's exactly the way to do it. I'm not sure if I have a med kit, but I guess that's not the trophy legend one, so can't get that lucky. The plan is right now to actually look for coyotes first, because I'm a little bit worried that like the trophy legend coyote could get killed, because it certainly looks like both the bison and the wolves are going after him. So I think we're gonna stick to them. I'm not sure if he's just run around. I mean, look how many dead things are on the map right now. That one actually is after us. And again, exactly. Directly not on target. making the best shots at this. But I guess unless it specifically says to go claim our trophy, then it's not going to be the right one. But yeah, I, unless maybe they have it set up to where the trophy legend coyote can't get killed, I want to make sure we really go after them first. Alright, well. Very well done. Going to try to stay ahead of things this time so it doesn't happen. Oh, did we actually get the Trophy Legend Wolf? Alright. Not a bad deal. 19 score next shot as it always seems to be. That's a high score. So, of course we're already going away from the strategy of getting the coyote first because the Trophy Legend Wolf just came to visit us, but I mean a lot of the coyotes are dead. I think you can actually leave a hunt and come back and like you keep the objectives you've completed. This guy's particularly Good. happy with us. Want to track wounded animals. But I have no idea. Like, I don't want to lose out on that if we can still get him. Man, this is going to be... This is going to be what we're dealing with, I think. Didn't hit that one, unfortunately. Still didn't hit it. The other thing I don't want to do is die. Sure shot. And lose Excellent. progress. Do we have a med kit? Oh, we do. It's only 25% of our health, so we gotta start shooting better. And I'm not even sure, like... Ah, that's not gonna help us much. That was a perfect shot. We're gonna be able to take, like, one or two more hits. I'm not sure if animals respawn. Like, maybe as we do this, we're gonna eliminate all the wolves anyway. But, yeah, we're gonna be lucky if we survive another attack if we get hit again. I mean, this is just non-stop. No matter what we do... Trying to stay back That's away from exactly that. The way to do it. Is this like the same ATV accident thing? I wonder why they leave that there. And of course, while I'm not looking, the one's a coyote there. I don't think the wolf is actually after us. I mean, it just goes from like, not even knowing they're there, to the right on top of us trying to come after us. And I gotta stay like, way out of the way. You don't have the proper tag for that animal. Well, how am I supposed to not... I guess... Yep. <laughs> just gonna Game have that one. happen, too. Please make it your last. Could that please just be the trophy legend so we're done? Not quite. Man, they're coming from all sides. Right between the eyes. As long as we can just back away and have room to see, it's kind of fine. But being so low on health... Oh, that was it. Nice, 49 score. I'm surprised the coyote's so much higher than the wolf, but maybe they're scored differently. Had a shot on that one. That's but a high score for sure. we got out of here alive somehow. Honestly, thanks to the med kit. Without the med kit, we were not surviving that, but that is actually going to be it for this region, I believe. So I think we'll save. We'll go back in there and make sure I didn't miss anything. And we'll actually travel to the next region, but... That should be it. Quite honestly, that was the most difficult hunt we've done so far, and I'm kind of glad it's kind of like the last one for this video. And yeah, I mean, everything is completed as far as I can tell, so we'll go ahead and travel to the next region. And just kind of get an idea of what we're going to be dealing with. Looks like a kind of 
similar region to the last time. Let's actually just kind of look and see what the tags are and kind of know what species we're going to be dealing with, but looks like more bird shooting and spinning fishing, so that should be fun. I really did enjoy the fishing this uh, last time, but we're looking at mountain goats, 10 beavers with a handgun in under three hours. Maybe that 500 magnum could be uh, useful there. This looks like something to do with Trophy Legends, actually. Yeah, a male grizzly bear Trophy Legend, again under three hours. It's interesting they're using that time frame. Stone Sheep, uh, Trophy Legend again. Oh, Trophy Legend Moose, that's one I actually want to get. And we have to shoot it over 60 yards away, which might be interesting if it comes after us. And another Trophy Legend mission. I actually don't remember there being so many that were Trophy Legend specific, but that's going to be a caribou, so a male caribou even. Something else I wanted to get because last time we got the female trophy legend, we got Kodiak bears and there's actually more hunts in this region so it might kind of change up the structure of these videos, but black bear trophy legend from at least 30 yards, that shouldn't be too big a deal with a bow. Maybe it is going to be a big deal. And I think this said trophy legend too. Man, the hunts in this region are going to be serious. We're looking at male Kodiak bear trophy legend and a Sitka deer trophy legend. And then that's going to be it. So there are six special hunts and three main hunts. So we're probably going to do three videos on this particular region. And they're likely going to be difficult, but yeah. I'm actually looking forward to that a lot, and hopefully you guys are as well. I'm really enjoying the Alaskan Adventures series, and I don't know. It's really fun to play these old games and kind of take a trip down memory lane in a way. And honestly, as much as it's that, it's still fun just to play them as well, like even as the game like in 2020. But anyway, that is going to do it. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.